Danny Victor, she was working at a restaurant and they racially and sexually harassed her and discriminated against her. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's another day. I gotta call my nephew and say happy birthday to him. Well, my sister, because he's not gonna answer the phone. He probably won't even care, but you know. I just text. <laughs> Kids nowadays, they like seeing cartoons. <laughs> um, today's the 14th, yep. And so I gotta do more business promo and stuff, but while I was getting ready. I need to eat too. I was watching this video. So, real quick to the point. Danny Victor, if y'all watch Bad Girls Club, you've heard of her. A lot of people didn't like her, a lot of people did, just because it's like the person you hate to love type. So why when I was watching this video today, it was a part two to a first part, and basically she was working at a restaurant and they racially and sexually harassed her and discriminated against her. Okay, so she didn't get her last paycheck and stuff. This is like a summary. And all she wanted was her last paycheck. All she wanted was for them to um, uh, speak truthfully on her name because they basically lied for the reason they fired her and said she was soliciting prostitution. Yeah, that part. And so you, you might ask, why do you believe her this? That? It's like, I'm not gonna go on a spew, but I like to say I have a gift. I have a gift in seeing through people, and I have a gift in easily being able to tell when somebody's telling the truth or when somebody's lying. And this girl's telling the truth, you can tell. If you watch the video, you'll know what I mean. Paperwork over paperwork, evidence, proof. This girl is like literally learning the law so she can fight for herself because she had crooked lawyers that screwed up her t case. They filed it in the state when they were supposed to file it federally, did all this. And then come to find out, I didn't know if I already said it, but she's suing Guess, the company. They also own Restaurant, Wine and Spirit, Wally's Wine and Spirits. They have stock in Wells Fargo. And she had a case where this girl had stole a couch from her and Wells Fargo turned around and charged her for it, put her account in negative thousands. Because right after she had posted this video for this case, all this stuff started happening. Y'all, I lied not. She she literally has it on her Instagram. She doesn't have the Wells Fargo part on her face, on her YouTube, because she did the second video the day before. They were bringing her into court to do a restraining order and to tell her she can't um, talk about this in video anymore. It's so much, but the judge is corrupt. The lawyer, her own lawyers are corrupt. And here's another thing that completely like, if you don't believe her, that's fine. But there's a lot of things, like I've looked this stuff up myself, by the way. There's a lot of, um, not as much as she did, but I looked some stuff up. Cause I don't just listen to what people say it and not look it up. But there's a lot of things she said, specifically when she said there was a bunch of open cases. Okay, when there's open cases, like when you're doing, when you're filing a boss or something against somebody, you can tell. Like I have people in my family, my mom specifically, she had an open case against somebody, a company, a big name company, and I'm not work, working out because you know when people have a lot of money, like in this girl's case, or if they are a part of the government, then you really can't get anywhere. So the problem is apparently there's a bunch of other corrupt lawyers because they were not only filing it in the state to where only the state can handle it and the federal government can't have anything to do with it, but they were filing it under the wrong business names. So she said hers, they put it under Wine and Spirits of California and they were supposed to put it in Wine and Spirits of Delaware. How do you accidentally put the wrong company name? And appa apparently this has happened so much in other cases that she had connected to where that's how they uh, found their way of not putting these cases with their cases as connected cases. Cause these lawyers also, who would have thought? They don't want their clients to win. I don't, ha I had no idea y'all. How can you have so much money to where you have all the lawyers in a county or state? LA is a county ring. <laughs> Los Angeles, it's a state. No, it's a city, <laughs> not a state. But you have all the lawyers in the area, the judge, the court clerks doing crooked stuff for you? How much money do you have? And I posted something to Instagram. All I had to do was look up. This is, this is, um, all I had to do was look up, um, when I look up restaurants on my, I looked up guest owners, racial and sexual harassment. The first thing, January 22nd, 2021. This alleged harasser got a second chance. Now he's accused of rape, 
the guest founder. Paul Marciano, guest co-founder, sexual misconduct allegation, January 9, 2019. Guest sexual abuse controversy, model sues over sexual assault, January 22, 2021. Baz versus Guest Incorporated. This is this is an open case. In this sexual discrimination action, plaintiff contends that she was terminated due to her female sex Due to her female, you know when you read the short part and then you click it and then it goes away. Where's the summary? I don't have time looking up people's cases. <laughs> This happened before. No, no, no. In this extra two minutes, plaintiff contends that she was terminated due to her female sex and in retaliation for complaining about alleged discriminatory and harassing contact conduct discriminated against in the terms and conditions of her employment and subject to a sexually hostile work environment upon consideration of defendant's motion supporting documents. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, that's a case. This case is when when was it filed? I don't know. Dang on. Well, July 14th, 1999. <sighs> <sighs> Guess in sale of bag accused of copying the style of black owned brand Telfer. So then we're, we're, we also can add cultural appropriation to the list. And do y'all want to see it? Because it, yes, that's a guess bag. Oh, I thought that was two Telfers. No, that's a guess bag. Y'all, it gets worse. Kate Upton, big name, in 2018 accuses guest executive of sexual harassment when she was 18 years old. In 2018, she says she was 18 years old. <sighs> Paul Marciano resigns as executive chairman of guests following sexual. But here's the issue. He ex he resigns as chairman. We don't think about this. But he still is a part owner. He still receives money. The whole organization looks better when someone resigns. But if he's still receiving money. And up till this day, they're still in the restaurant. Now, this is this lady worked with the guest organization in terms of like, you know, the brand, clothing, bags and stuff. We're talking about a restaurant owned by these people and they're allowing this stuff to happen in a restaurant that they own as well. So they don't think there's anything wrong with this and they're not gonna change. Y'all, I've been talking for a minute, but it's just when I see stuff like this, I gotta like push it as much as I possibly can. As someone who doesn't have a big following, I gotta push as much as I can and I gotta let people know as much as I can because it's like, it hurts my heart to see people go through this because you never know, it could be you. And this girl actually has a big following and they're still getting away with it. So I'm gonna post it on TikTok. I'm actually gonna make it a little fun because the way TikTok is, it's easy to do a video. It's easy to make a new account. I just made an account called Curly Locks Exposes. I'm gonna do some quick videos on it and we'll see what they do. Controversial videos do really well. That's not my thing, but if it's putting someone like that on blast and I don't mind. So, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I did that one video on the um, TikTok and I'm about to ship out some orders. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm about to end this vlog because I know I was talking a lot for one part, so I don't want it to be too long and then too much to edit because there are so many other days in the month for me to talk so much more. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, um, I still have a lot to do, but I'm not going to record it. And we're going grocery shopping tomorrow, so I'm probably going to have to wake up at like 6 in the morning and do what I got to do because grocery shopping always takes like 3 4 hours. I don't know how it takes a long time. Even if you plan it out, like planning out is part of the time it takes to. I'm not gonna plan it, plan the grocery list out tonight, because I ain't got time for that. I got so many other things to do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something, one or the other, or both. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any suggestions for future videos. And I mean that, I don't just say that. Share this video with anybody and everybody and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, i fell asleep and i missed it